Ready. Good. All right, here we go with round one, and we will see what Alex Pereira can provide for an encore. Has any man or woman in UFC history vaulted to superstardom at the UFC Hall of Fame as quickly as this two-division champion, Alex Pereira? His heart and soul is the striking, best striker in this division, and a lot of power is going to be coming his opponent's way here tonight. Shot attempt to the head here. Instead, it's blocked by Pereira. Everything's playing its work. Keep that pressure going. Well, every MMA fight begins on the feet, and that is music to the ears of Alex Pereira, who has found a home for that left hook early. I mean, that's his best shot, man. We have seen Alex Pereira land this left hook in kickboxing to finish Israel Asanya, and also inside the octagon where he knocked out Sean Strickland. It is such a powerful strike, and Pereira is a master of it. Pereira's elbow attempts here. That one blocked by the defense. Prohaska's bleeding from the mouth now. A cut there on his lip. That doesn't look like fun. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. You cannot take those leg kicks clean like that. Oh, and he lands the leg kick. The stats are in his favor when it comes to that strike. Well, the left hook has been there at times, not that time. Well, it looks as though that strike maybe opened up a cut around the eye area. Yeah, it looks like that strike opened up a cut, John, but it's nothing to worry about now, but he's got to start to protect it. Oh, working the inside of that leg. Two minutes now to go in round one. Immediately gets the underhook. Man. We might get a stoppage here soon. Gets back to his feet. Much of the narrative in this one has been Alex Pereira striking. He's landed a lot of power shots. Maybe the knockout will materialize in this round. And he breaks it out. Alex Pereira does not rush. He takes his time. He finds his spot. Another one! Oh, nice elbow. Good news is he rocked him. Bad news is he wasn't able to finish the job, and now his opponent's back in the fight. And you don't get those opportunities very often. You got to take full advantage of them when they're presented to you. Stay sharp. 30 seconds now to go in round one. He's got him in the clinch. Takedown like that might be the difference. All right, there's the end of the round, and hopefully not the end of the fight. He doesn't look as handsome as he did when he walked out. That is a severe gash on his face. All right, let us get you some replays from the damage in that previous round. Perhaps we can even isolate the shot that opened the cut. I mean, just some big shots landed over the course of that round. And he wasn't responsible defensively. He was trying to tough out way too many situations. You can't do that when you're fighting a guy like this. If he doesn't change something, he's going to find himself in trouble. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. All right, round two. Nice straight right, Lance. Prohaska. Oh, he's still hurt. Look at that. He can't even stand. Big, big strikes continue to land. Right there from the bottom, nicely done by Pro Husker. Looks as though he will let his opponent stand back up. Yes. Well, this fight's been pretty crazy thus far. Both guys doling out a lot of damage, and neither seems too bothered by it, but clearly both parties are hurt. Both guys are hurt. Both guys are fighting beautifully. Both are showing a lot of heart right now in this fight. They're both doing amazing jobs. Let's see who gets the job done at the end of this thing. Prohaska's bleeding heavily from the mouth right now. Can't imagine how good that must taste, but that cut on his lip is only getting worse by the minute. Great punch, man, with so much power. Well, if body language is any indication, mentally he is not back in this fight after that knockdown earlier in the round. I mean, we thought the fight was over, so I guess it's a 
credit to him to still even be fighting, but he's got to do something different if he has any designs of winning this fight. He's hurt bad. He's hurt bad. Oh! Just out of range with that left hook. Timely defense there, huge block for him. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has cleared up, found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Oh, slips to avoid the right. And they get to the clinch. Oh, he's gonna lift that on the hook, drive him to the side of the octagon and really control. Oh. his feet. Oh. Gets to the single power tie. Gets hurt again. My back. My back. He's very close to the finish here. And that will do it. Alex Pereira has done it again. Oh boy. Make the bad man stop. A nice stoppage win for him here tonight. And the other side just couldn't handle the incoming assault. A flurry of punches, most of them upstairs. And when those big shots land repeatedly, the referee has no choice but to step in and call the fight. Here once more, Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is calling a stop to this contest at four minutes, nine seconds of round number two.